Good evening people. Thanks to Scouse Adventures, he nominated me for the 3R challenge. So I've got to give you three reasons why I ride what I ride. Now we all know what I ride. We all know the beast. Right, so I'm going to give you three reasons why I ride what I ride. Now for me, it started when I was about 18. I'm now 44 and just over the road, there used to be a dealer called Bob Joiners. Now he was a Honda dealer and every Saturday at the age of 18, I used to go over there and dream about them. And for all of my life growing up after that, from the age of 18 to 44, I always loved this Fireblade. Now at the time, I had an RGV, Suzuki RGV 250 race bike. I loved the bike. Um, but I always loved the Fireblade. It was always a dream. And then I decided a couple of years ago, I want to get another bike. And I thought, I haven't got the money to buy a new bike. I haven't got seven or eight grand or whatever you're going to be spending. Um, I thought the most I could probably do is get a bit of birthday money together, any money I get for Christmas, bit of savings, and try and get myself a blade. I thought I still loved them, you could still get some fantastic ones, and there wasn't mega money, so I was looking for about four to five months, and then I found her was a thousand pounds and the guy even brought it to me I believe it was the 27th of December he brought it to me in the snow we carried it through the house and put it in the conservatory then I spent the next few months just doing little bits and pieces on it getting new tyres fitted things like that and then started to use her so that's reason one now reason two why I ride what I ride is I absolutely love sports bikes. The bike is far more capable than what I can ride it to. I'll never ride that bike, or to be honest with you, any bike to its full capability. I'm not an aggressive rider, I'm not particularly a brilliant rider. I can ride and that's it, it makes me happy. That's all I want. At this age with kids, I don't want to be pushing any boundaries beyond what I'm capable of. And the third reason, which is the only reason, and I'm sure you will all agree, the third reason I ride what I ride, and that is because, just look. Look at how sexy that is. It's got nice lines. It's fat and chunky. Well, a lot of these new sports bikes are lovely, but they're very, very small and slim. That is a fat beast. That's a fat mother. I haven't said any more. But that is a big, chunky bike. And I always... When I used to go into the dealer, I loved, I believe it was white, purple and pink, the Fireblade which I think was one of the first ones out. I absolutely loved that colour. Um, at that time, my bike wasn't out in the colours what she is. These colours wasn't available. Um, the white, pink and purple ones, they stole quite a bit of money. And a lot of those, they were the twin headlights. There was two round headlights there before they moved these onto the Fox Eye. But that's the one I always wanted. I mean, she has got enough power way enough power for what I'm ever going to use it for and yeah we've got a few modifications on it we've got the top box not something you always see on a sports bike especially a fire blade but you know I wanted a more two ring with the boys we've got to be carrying stuff I need the room I need a top box got some new stickers on her as well there she is so those are my three reasons why I ride what I ride. Now I've now got to choose three other people 
who I nominate. So the first person I nominate is going to be Mr. Island Biker. Now, Mr. Island Biker, I am giving you the 3R challenge. Three reasons why you ride your bike. But for you, I'm doubling it up. So you've kind of got the 6R challenge because you've got two bikes. We want three reasons why you ride each bike and why you chose them. That's person number one. Person number two, the Gorilla Biker. You, my friend, same challenge. Three reasons why you ride the bike you've got and why you chose it. And it'll be good to hear it in that fantastic accent of yours with a bit of blue sky behind you. Let's get a bit of scenery. My scenery at the minute is on underneath the motorway bridge. So you can get a bit of good scenery there. And the third person, the 3R challenge, goes to the main man himself, Goose. Now Goose has got quite a bit of a, a story as well behind his bike, his bandit. So, Goose, you've got the challenge, you make the video, and we'll get it up there. So for now people, thank you for watching my 3R challenge. Thanks to Scouse Adventures for nominating me. And over to you three guys to continue it on.